We'll get underway with Andy Farrell and Peter O'Mahony. It's all live content. Get underway. Hi, Andy. Congrats on the win. Um, Thank you. I'd just start by asking, after such a strange game, what are the kind of main things you can take away from it? There's plenty we can take away from it. Obviously, there's not many times that we've played a, a test match, an international match against 12 players. Um, so, But there's plenty we can take away from it. it I suppose at the start of the game, um, uh, getting off to a good start and going up seven points uh, is, a, is, a, is a nice enough start. And then I thought we, we, we started to overplay a little bit and uh, I thought Italy defended really well and... Um, they they was aggressive in defence, and that was before they went down to 13 men, and certainly aggressive at the breakdown, etc. Um, and I thought uh, we, because of because of our lack of accuracy and um, and obviously the tenaciousness in in, in defence, I thought there was a few errors that we, that we could have tidied up before before um, the the situation happened to 13 men, and then and then we get to to that point of 13 men. Look, it's it's just it is just weird. I mean, we understand why the rule was brought in, um, but at the same time, I suppose in situations like that, occasions like that, it'll bring the rule back to everyone's attention, and they'll, they'll look at it from from my point of view, from what we all saw um, on contesting scrums, um, and and rightly so. Italy was trying to slow slow the game down. It's what everyone would have done. Um, you don't take when you've got un uncontested scrums, you know, for so long within the game. Um, uh, everyone's legs are, are nice and fresh, and it's the reason why Italy were tenacious in in, in defence throughout, but even when they went to twelve men. So it's just it's just weird. There's 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 um, the the space that's that that you thinks that you thinks there and. You know they're obviously always going to play throw caution to the to the wind and kamikaze style defence at times where they where they were flying up a, uh, off the line and hitting us man and ball and put our skills under pressure and we needed to become a more accurate. Um, I think in the second half there we hit a, a few more uh, front doors rather than throwing it at the back and uh, got some quick ball ourselves and managed to get um, some much needed points um, in in the end. Yeah, it probably did, and it, and it shouldn't. Um, you know, there was a lot of waiting around, obviously, with, with regard to what the ruling was and that kind of thing. Um, and uh, just the whole stop startiness uh, of the whole kind of 20 minutes that, that surrounded it. But, you know, I think we need to be better on the pitch at, at negotiating a way around, uh, you, know, you know, what the opposition are, are presenting with us. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Um, just, uh, just, uh, just first question is, is for Pete. Um, just kind of having you know played that game in 2013 uh, over in Rome, where I think you were left on the wing at one stage and, and you were playing with 13 men. There's, there's an, an element of, of ruthlessness, isn't there, that, that you kind of need, you know, when you're up against a team that are, you know, as unfortunate as it was, you need to be ruthless, isn't it? Like you, was that a talk you had to the lads out there on the pitch? Yeah, well, look, we we want to be ruthless, but. We weren't certainly in the the last twenty minutes of the first half, and and for parts of the second half, we, we weren't. You know, we 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 weren't accurate, and um, you know, we, we should have made life a lot more difficult for a team that were down to you know what I mean, thirteen, twelve players at one stage. You know, so um, you want to be ruthless, but you know, at times are actually let us down. And Andy, what would you have said to the lads? Because I know it was going to stop start at the end of the first half, but um, you know, once you Um, yeah, just to, just to have more composure on the, on the on the ball, really, and uh, just to be calmer a little bit. We, 
as I said, they was they were sprinting out the line because they had nothing to lose, and, um, and we was just throwing the ball, throwing the ball um, to the next guy who was under under so much pressure at times, and uh, it, it took us a while just to just to calm down and and see the game for what it is, and we thought there was space everywhere, and you know we we was um, making poor decisions on the back of that. Um, and look, at, we're talking about us, but at the end of the day, saying to the players that 57-6, we'd have certainly took that before the game. It takes us into, um, it puts us in a good position now, uh, as far as the, the points uh, difference is concerned. And obviously, um, on to the next two matches that we, that we need to win to be in contention of, 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 of winning a competition. Well, look, he's 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 not played much at all since um, since since November. Um, so it's been a little bit stop start for him. But uh, he, he he played a quarter of a game the other night, and you know it's good for him to get a, a full game under his belt, and that's why we did that. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Andy. Hi, Mary. Oh yeah, he 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 was great. Um, he, he was lively and. Um, he was as brave as, as as we knew he was going to be. Uh, I think uh, getting the getting the two tries and then being in space to score his third and then passing it on to his mate James Law in the corner typifies what Mike is all about. So we're all everyone involved in the squad, the management and the and the and the players um, are absolutely made up for for Mikey and his his mum and his and his sister and his girlfriend. You know, it's a big day for them. Well, we, we we know that they're going to come hard off the line at us, um, um, and Italy came hard off, off the line at us at times today, and we, we we weren't composed enough, so we need to be a little bit more accurate there. We know that they like to kick the ball for territory a lot, uh, the same as what they've done um, in the past couple of seasons. Uh, I thought I thought I thought they were good. Um, I thought in the first half they were very dominant as far as territory is concerned. They kept the scoreboard ticking over, obviously, and. And thoroughly deserve the the half time lead, and um, I suppose like us, they'll they'll be there'll be there'll be plenty for them to ponder on in in the in, in the in the next coming weeks, the same as ourselves. And Peter, can I just ask you about Mike as well? How's he fitting into the camp? Um, yeah, look, he, he's he's a top man. Um, you know, I've I've obviously been playing against him. Um, you know, you see how brave and how tough he is. Um, you know, some of the impacts that he takes is is phenomenal, and he just seems to bounce up off off the ground every time. Um, and as Faz said, look, he's he's come in the last few weeks and he's fitted in seamlessly. He's he's been incredibly diligent with his uh, with his work, getting up to speed of of what he needed to do. And you know, I, I thought that play summed him up, passing that ball there. You know what I mean? He he had. You know what I mean? Ten times out of ten, he'd 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 have the gas to get in the corner there, but he passes the ball to to Lowy just to to make it, you know, a thousand percent. Um, that kind of sums him up for from all of us really. He's he's just a good guy. Thanks very much. Good thanks. Yeah, Robbie's going through the protocols, but um, he looks fine in the in the dressing room. So um, we expect that to 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 take its course. And um, Andrew Porter uh, was nursing a, um, a bit of a bit of an ankle uh, stra uh, strain. He went, he went over on his ankle slightly, but he was he was he was well enough, or would have been able to carry on. But we thought um, to get him off at that at that stage. Well, he's, he's 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 very consistent at the minute, isn't he? Of of playing at a very high standard, and uh, he sums Josh up when he comes into the change room after the game, and 
he was turned over um, uh, um, in, in, in the game though and it, that's the only thing that he could think about of whether he needed to keep his feet under him a little bit more and he did that pretty well throughout didn't he keeping his feet going and uh, and, and driving driving on there so look he's um, he's coming on a treat isn't he uh, at this level um, he's very consistent and uh, and that's what he wants to be. Up there and the mix up and stuff will start uh, kicking in now. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.